Hi guys, uh, welcome to the next video in the Minecraft education sequence. Uh, today, uh, what I want to look at is, uh, you, last time we looked at building like a simple wall and we ended with uh, building like then a higher wall and I want to start looking at building some basic shapes. Uh, so let's jump in there and have a little look, shall we? So, here we are. Um, there's a few new commands I need to show you in order to be able uh, to get our little guy um, to kind of build for you uh, a square or uh, like the foundations of a building. So just a reminder, you need to press C to bring in the code window. And some of the code that I've got already pre-written here is some of the things you're going to need. Uh, a little bit of a reminder really from, from last time. So I've started my uh, square command, it's not finished. And I've taken from the agent block, I've taken the set block to, and I've chosen a wooden block, um, given 64, and this is gonna go in his slot one, so his like hotbar one slot. I'm gonna move the agent up into the air, um, because I prefer to build um, anything I'm building with the agent, I prefer to move him around above what he's building, and then he places the blocks below him. Now you can move them along and place blocks behind him if you wish. It's just down to personal preference. I just like to work as if he's hovering above that kind of, almost like he's the pen and he's laying down bits of ink underneath him. That's how I like to think of it. So I put him up in the air by one. Setting his active slot to one as well. And I've also made a command so that he'll teleport to me. So it'd be worth, I think at this time uh, to probably pause the video whilst this is up and and just get those first initial bits of code in so do that now pause the video make sure you've got these basic things up and running and so check he teleports to you and check that you've got uh, this code ready so that you can then start doing some building so pause now get that ready and then when that's done come back to me okay so your first challenge really today is um, if you are not confident with building those basic walls still, maybe start with that as a starter. So just see if you can remember how to add some code to this section, and it's going to involve a loop, or it, um, depending if you just wanna do one wall or two, or a multiple height wall. If you wanna do a wall which is just a straight wall, with which is one high, you just need one repeat loop. And think about using blocks like um, placing and moving uh, and if you repeat if you think about it if you repeat moving and placing and you keep doing that you will create a straight wall um, with that knowledge in hand if you just want to do that revision feel free to do so now just pause the video and quickly build that straight wall um, then after that if you want try and build the layered wall again so that means you need a second repeat so if you think about it, you've got one repeat that goes, um, here's a, do a brick, lay it, move, do a brick, do a brick, do a brick. So you're doing that one repetition, but then maybe once you finish that, so let's say you do that eight times, repeat, go forward, put a brick down, go forward, put a brick down, you do that eight times, you've made a straight wall. Well then maybe you need to then make him go back to where he started, make him go up one more in the air, but then all of that you want to repeat several times. So you're going to have another repeat loop, another uh, repeat this many times around everything so that you will draw like a foundation. You'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Rewind, back on the top, go up and do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And go back and do it again. Make sure that this fundamental idea of repeating things is embedded. So. Pause the video and, and be happy with those skills before you take on the next challenge. If you're still with me now, then you are confident with building those basic walls. And what you want to do is you now want to create a shape. So the shape I want you to make is a, a basic square foundation. So I want the uh, agent to go round in a perfect square and build, I don't know, something like a five by five by five by five by five. Um, wall so you end up with a, a, a foundation and what I'm going to do at this point is I'm just going to flip across to here 
and I'm going to pause my recording so that I can add the code to my program. Um, but so I'll be a little jitter in the video for you, but you pause now and I want you to have a go at making a program where you do a kind of square like that on, on the ground, okay? It only needs to be one high, so just a, a square. See if you can program that with the knowledge that you have. Pause now and have a go. Okay, if you're back here, uh, then you should have had a go at that. Um, so now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna pop over back to um, Minecraft and I'm just gonna show you what should happen. So I'm just gonna bring um, my guy to me. Um, show chat, um, come here and Oh, he's over there, look. I don't know what he's doing over there. Um, let's go and jump over there. Let's see. You can see he's been building some interesting things so far. So if I tell him to draw a square, which he's totally ignoring. So let's just have a look here. Got a square. Agent teleport. Right. Run, come on little man, let's try it over here, See, I think he's completely blanking me guys, right let me pause it and let me just figure out why he is not playing the game, yeah just give me a sec. Well it turns out nothing was wrong at all, it was lag because uh, I've gone back to it and it was working so so let's just run it um, so square there he goes yeah you see it's a little bit laggy my computer's working on something at the moment uh, and off he goes he's doing eight squares um, and then turning and then doing eight squares so if you struggled with this I'm just gonna bring up the code um, if he gets back to me ever just struggling here with I don't know what my computer is doing but clearly it's working on something come on mate go on you can do it go on stop looking at me do your job right there we go um, if I bring up the code a sec so what you can see here is I've got a repeat four times all of these things and the things very similar to when you build a high wall but I've got this bit okay this is like one piece of wall so eight times, do a block, and then move forward. So remember, he's up in the air. I always put him up in the air. So he places below his feet, then he moves, and he does it eight times. That's one straight wall of eight pieces. And then after he's done that one straight wall, he turns left. So if you then repeat that four times, if you're always going to do a long wall, turn left, 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 we have a square. So now you know that, can you adapt this code such that um, you make me a little tower, all right? So I'm going to ask you to pause now. I'm gonna to pause too, and we'll see who can make a little tower, all right? So pause your video and have a go at making a square first. And then if you, if you didn't get it, that is, if you didn't succeed, and then you've seen it now, so have a go. And then try then the tower, make a little tower for me. So it's the same shape, but going up and up higher and higher. So you're making one on top of the other. Off you go, pause now. Uh, hello again, you should have had a go at that. And as you can see, my guy lagging like hell is having a go at it. In, he's had a think and he's done some of it, but he's, he's lagging at the moment, I'm afraid. And he's going round and round and round. So if you hadn't figured out how to do it and you've had a bit of a go, I'm just gonna bring up the code window. And this piece of code here, hasn't really changed. So if you look at this, this was the code which allowed me to build one square going round and then um, all I need to do really is I need to repeat this on top of each other, on top of each other. So I've added onto the end of it, hover up one square, so now he's one above the square, you know, the square he has just built. And I've put made another repeat loop, I just pop that in there, so now he'll make four square donut shapes, one on top of the other. And it's as easy as that. 
there is a better way of doing this um, using something called functions, which is something we'll move on to next time. But for now, this should be enough for you to have a bit of a play with, see what you can do with repetition. You might want to try a different shape other than a square, but that could prove to be a little more challenging than you think. So I'm going to leave you now with having a play around to make sure you can build those towers. You may even want to uh, change the program so that um, you make the agent move to where perhaps an entrance might be once he's finished the tower and then you move him down and then make him destroy blocks so he smashes through and makes like a doorway or something. So have a little play around. That should be enough to get your teeth into for this session. Um, until next time, uh, take care and I'll catch up with you next time. Bye bye.